good morning students welcome to online classes in today class we are going to discuss unit number 3 capital structure and deliveries dear students this unit is consist of two part one is capital structure and other one is leverages so in capital structure we are going to study capital structure meaning definition and determination of capital mix based on the eps point of in difference and in the leverages we are going to studying leverage meaning and definition and what are the methods of a computation of a leverages basically as per your syllabus that is operating financial and combined these are the three types of leverages okay many more is there asset asset method is there return on investment method is there but among that the most important is operating financial and combined leverages so these are the three important leverages and we'll move to the next uh, that is what uh, what is a very important examination point of view see examination important examination point of view capital structure is compulsory one 15 marks question and uh, again one is two marks question okay so the next according to the leverages leverage may be they can ask pi marks or 15 marks but the maximum uh, as compared to the previous question paper the maximum is what a pi marks question even they can ask also 15 marks the combination of three leverages i think you clear regarding the what is there in the syllabus and what is important for examination point of view so dear student as compared to the previous topic capitalization the capital structure and leverage is again more interesting and more easy and uh, one more important point hope so good you already practiced whatever i had given problems in the previous class so keep it practicing on those problems and in the offline classes also again we are going to discuss some more problems on capitalization okay so let us start with in today class uh, the introduction and meaning uh, sorry that uh, some small text is mistake introduction and meaning of capital structure uh, because i already told you uh, first let us we have to complete the capital structure and we will shift it into what uh, leverages okay in the introductory concept the i would like to tell you the capital structure is very important uh, one of the financial investment concept whenever we are going to investing the uh, financial activities the capital structure also playing very important role because the capital structure uh, basically the capital is have two type of one is owner capital and the other one is borrowed capital owner capital means so whatever owners or whatever the proprietor are invested in the business that is owned capital i don't want to talk regarding owned capital i would like to talk about the borrowed capital because Uh, if i take it any company what is the capital structure of that company structure means what what method in what way we are going to collect the capital okay so uh, if if you are going to take it an example if you take it an example of building plan so as per the engineering structure as per the engineer plan we are going to construct in the building is it clear or not so same thing here also capital structure means what capital is to be involved or employed or invested in the business that is represented by what capital structure for example equity shares preference share debentures bonds okay so in this way in this method we are going to borrow the fund so whatever equity shares preference shares debenture and bonds this is a structure in this manner we are going to collect the capital that is capital structure is it clear students next uh, let us i want to clarify the meaning the capital structure see capital structure means the total combined investment of a business and i told you the total amount how much total amount we are going to combinedly invested in the so total um, combined amount invested in the business so that is total investment amount is how much that is represented by structure and one more definition that regarding capital uh, structure capital structure is a mixture of capital uh, put into the business means the, how much capital we are going to investing in the business that is represented by capital structure according to robert h he is going to defining that the capital the term capital structure is frequently used to indicate the long term sources of funds employed in a business or enterprises it means how much frequently we are going to investing in the long term sources or as long term purpose we are going to invested in the business that is represented by what a capital structure is very clear in very simple manner i wanted to uh, give the justification the cap capital structure it is refers to the 
the total amount of fund or total amount of capital invested or uh, putting in the business and let us uh, want to discuss for your no your knowledgeable per, knowledge purpose so what is the difference between a capitalization and a capital structure because we studied already capitalization and today we are going to discussing capital structure so there is a question is going on mind sir what is the difference between a capitalization and capital structure because in the previous class capitalization is told capitalization is nothing but how much capital is to be involved in the business so regarding that we are going to study so then what is a capital structure so let us we have to discuss the difference between capitalization and capital structure the first, let us we have to take it first where exactly scope of our capitalization you see the capitalization is the total accounting value of all the capital regularly employed in the business it means the purpose of using the capitalization concept the finding the total value of capital regularly involved or invested in business regularly how much capital we are going to invest uh, regularly how much we are going to using that is to be calculated on the basis of what uh, capitalization okay for example capital uh, long term debt uh, reserves uh, surplus uh, the purpose of that we are going to using capitalization concept is it clear next uh, the purpose of again capital structure is the portion of different sources of long term debts or long term funds is in the capitalization it means we are going to using the capital structure concept is where exactly spoke for that the different sources of long term funds in the capitalization it means what are the way what are the sources we are going to collecting the capitalization sorry um, what are the different sources of collecting the capital for the capitalization it means capitalization means what to finding the value of total capital regularly involved in the business means whatever the total capital is there then what is the sources sir? the sources is to be determined by what capital structure very clear building is to be clear building is to be structured so building is structure in what basis building is structure that is based on engineer plan based on the different sources we are going to construct it because of that uh, this is uh, exactly the scope for capital and capital structure is it clear next one more point is what objective what is exactly the objective of capitalization the objective of capitalization is determination of the total amount of capital required how much capital is required for the particular plan particular project so this is what a capitalization but the capital structure objective is determination of the composite of different long term sources composite means what in capitalization we decided how much sorry total fund is required for example 1 crore rupees is required so this is given by what a capitalization but capital structure what will do the capital structure will be what are the long term sources for the the collection of that 1 crore rupees it means the capital structure is giving the direction for the sources because in capitalization you are decided 1 crore rupees required then how we are going to collecting 1 crore rupees that instruction that is given by what capital structure it means sources banks equity shares preference shares debentures through this way we are going to collecting the that 1 crore rupees so this is known about what capital structure and um, let us one more important point i wanted to give again difference between capital structure and financial structure so capital structure and financial structure what is going to define see according to the point the the first one is that is concept see capital structure is narrow concept it means is very clear and is straight forward and uh, it is give the clear picture about the capitalization of the company but financial structure is a broader concept it give a lot of information regarding the the financial concepts but what will be com composite what will be involved under the financial st capital structure only long term debts will be involved but in finance structure both long term as well as short term will be involved and what about a capital structure position the position of the capital structure is part of the financial structure it means the whatever the capital structure it is a part of a financial structure because capital structure is giving only instruction the sources and what what is a way to collecting of the capital that is what a capital so only financial stru capital structure is a part of a financial structure and what is exactly position of a financial structure the relatively measurement of relative degree of various sources of funds are used in the business so this is exactly the position of a financial structure it is not important for examination point of view but i have wanted to give you the clear concept between a capitalization and capital structure in one simple concept i will tell you 
capitalization is going to finding the total amount of required or total amount of value involved in the business but whatever the capital amount whatever the total amount how we are going to collecting and what way we have to collect what are to be involved in that total amount and that is given by what the capital structure okay so in today class uh, i am going to, uh, today i am going to conclude the, this topic and in the next class we are going to discuss again different concept hardly it is one or two classes theory will be covered again we will move to the what the uh, practical problems and this also very interesting most important also thank you we will meet in the next class with a new concept